Hi guys, we've already discussed at great length simple sentences, compound sentences, compound complex sentences, and complex sentences. Put that in a little weird order, but you know exactly what I'm talking about, the four various sentence types. And now that you know those four sentence types, you are equipped to avoid fragments. You should not have any fragments in your writing at all. You should run from them as if you would run from a zombie. I mean, I don't know about you, if I saw a zombie, I would start running. Unless they were the really fast zombies, and then I'd be like, they're going to get me anyway, so why bother running? So maybe I give somebody a call before they ate me up. But um, there are three steps in avoiding um, fragments. And so the first thing is understanding fragments. So just like zombies, you know, if you were, say, in the world of Walking Dead, you need to understand who is a zombie and who is not a zombie, or just even who might be affected. So you're looking for little, uh, little clues. So in terms of fragments, a fragment is any sentence that at the end of the day does not express a complete thought. It might have, so it might look great and healthy, just like an infected zombie person before they start going crazy. So they look great, but because it has a capital letter and a period at the end, it does not make it a sentence if it does not express a complete thought. Even if you have something that looks like a subject and it looks like a verb. Okay, so that's the very first thing. Now the hard part is actually identifying the fragments in our own writing. If I just gave you one single fragment right here, I bet all of you would be able to see that it was a fragment and be able to fix it in one of the four ways. Create some sort of beautiful sentence, compound, simple, compound, complex. However, the problem is when we have them all smooshed within all the other sentences. So one clue that you can use, or so, sorry, one tip that you can utilize is look at the sentences backwards. So read the last sentence first because that will allow you to take the sentence out of the context of how you wrote it. And that will help you choose, you know, the zombies from the good guys right there. Okay, the last thing that you want to do is kill the fragments. Oh, wait. No, no. You don't want to kill the fragments. Maybe kill the zombies. And actually, I was doing some reading before, as I was putting this together. And some, some guy's top tip for killing zombies was put it through a paper shredder. He also said that you should, um, another way you could kill them is somehow get them within concrete and get that concrete to harden up. I don't know how that will work. And the last thing that he, uh, that I recall from that website was that if you just let the zombies live long enough, so you go hide for a couple of years, that they're just going to die up. After they've infected 50% of the population, it's unlikely they're going to find more live people to feed upon. So those are some zombie hits, uh, zombie hits, zombie tips. So in the case of uh, fragments, you need to fix them. Sometimes it's as simple as taking the capital letter away and either joining it with the sentence before it or the sentence after it. Other times you need to add a subject, add a verb, or you might even have to add a subject and a verb, let's say if you just have a prepositional phrase going on. So let's go ahead and look at a paragraph that has a number of fragments in it. And let's go ahead and identify them first. Well, first of all, we understand, remember the fragments, that they are something that does not express a complete thought. Then you need to identify them, and that's what we're about to do right now. And then we'll correct them. We won't kill them. We will fix them, okay? So one thing that you might want to do is print out this exact paragraph. You'll find it on D2L under content. I think it's under grammar, grammar practice, punctuation, and grammar, something along those lines. And go ahead and under fragments, you can print out the uh, PDF version of this document. And it might help you as you're reading along. So go ahead and find all the fragments. Okay, so in this case, we have, I think, 12 total fragments. So about 30 people, as we are cruising, coming very close to the boat, which was exciting, even though we lost, just in time for the luau, dancing and singing in traditional Polynesian costumes, especially the poi, which is ground up taro root, when it was time to get back on the boat, and because my first trip to Hawaii was so fun. So you, you did the, actually the hardest work. You identified all the fragments. So now what you need to do is fix them. So many of these, you can just go ahead and attach it to the sentence beforehand or the sentence that follows it. Some other ones might need a little extra work. And again, I recommend that you print it off this paragraph because it'll be easier for you to work with it and change it up with a printed version. 
Okay, so here's just one. It's not the only way to correct this paragraph. It is just one particular way that seems to, to work well without actually changing the overall meaning. Because at the end of the day, it's actually harder to edit somebody else's work because you might not know what they intended. But your own, you will know exactly what meaning you intended and you'll know how to fix the sentences to correct them in the best way with while still retaining the meaning. So. So that's the end of this particular lesson. Didn't I tell you it's super easy, a lot easier than killing zombies, I think. I don't know. I've never killed a zombie, um, but I expect it would be a lot harder than working with fragments. And the danger the danger um, is a lot less, a lot less risk. Um, click here for some more information. And, yeah, key phrase, don't play Candy Crush in class, exclamation point. So don't forget to jot this down, um, and you'll be inserting it into D2L later. Um, I hope this helps you, and again, I look forward to seeing how you apply this in your own writing.